This year, I've gotten into pour-over coffee and have since extended my sewing hobby into my coffee routine by making reusable fabric coffee filters. Broadly speaking, there are three types of coffee filters, paper, cloth, and metal. While paper filters are common and convenient, they produce a lot of paper waste over time. Using a cloth filter is cheap, easy, and sustainable. I use a Hario V60 coffee dripper cone for my pour over coffee, and the paper filter shape for this setup is a simple cone shape folded flat. There is a fold of the paper on one side and a stamped seam edge on the other. This tutorial will specifically recreate a coffee filter for a Hario V60, but you can adjust it for the shape of the coffee filter that you use. If you already have a paper filter, you can trace it onto paper to make a template that you'll use later to cut out your fabric. Be sure to mark where the fold of the paper filter is and where the stamped seam is. If you don't have a paper filter at hand to copy, you can take some measurements of your coffee dripper cone and use the measurements to create a template. Using a measuring tape, measure from the top edge of your cone to the bottom opening, minus 4 inches. On a piece of paper, draw a line that corresponds to your first measurement, in my case 4 inches. Draw an additional line the same length perpendicular to the first. Then, line up your ruler with the right angle you've just created and mark a series of dots that are 4 inches away from that angle. See kids, you do use geometry in everyday life. Connect the dots to form a curved line. Then, to account for the amount of fabric that will be taken up by the seam, Draw a line half an inch away from either of your two straight lines. Then, cut out your paper template. I'm also adding a reminder to myself to cut out the edge without a seam allowance on the fold of the fabric. To make your filters, use cotton muslin fabric. This fabric is cheap and readily available, and the weave of the fabric is tight enough to catch sediment, but loose enough to allow water and oils to flow through. However, you might find that the rate at which the water flows through a fabric filter is different than the rate through a paper filter. This is also a great project to use up scraps of fabric. Fold your fabric in half and place your template on top of the fabric, lining up the fold line on the template with the fold of the fabric. Then cut out your fabric around the template. And there you have the base for your fabric filter. All that's left to do is stitch up the seam. First, stitch about one quarter of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. I'm using a sewing machine, but if you want to, you can sew this by hand. You could even serge this seam if you have a serger. Next, trim the edge of the fabric to about 1 8 of an inch and flip the filter so that the seam is on the inside. We're making what's called a French seam, so stitch again about 1 quarter of an inch away from the folded seam line. This encases the first seam and conceals the jagged fraying edges of the fabric. All done! You can leave the top edge unfinished, but the fabric will gradually fray over time. You could hem the top edge or trim it with pinking shears like I did. After each use, you'll want to shake off as many coffee grounds as possible and rinse your filter under running water. Store the filter submerged in cold water in between uses. You can also soak the filter in boiling water periodically to clean it. An advantage of cloth filters over paper is that cloth filters don't absorb the coffee oils the way paper filters do, so your cup of coffee is clean, sediment-free, but aromatic and flavorful. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. 
As always, thank you so much for watching.